Yeah, Smart War Games here. Let's check out the Cold War 2020 mod for WinSP MBT. Yeah, while browsing this page here, which I already showcased several times, it includes entire history of the Steel Panther series and a lot of downloads mods. And if you check out the end of this page, you, know, you will find a description of the Cold War 2020 mod uh, designed for WinSP MBT, which is the uh, yeah, newest, most extensive release for from for Steel Pandas when it comes to modern alongside with WinSP World War II. And yeah, this mod follows a quite interesting idea. It assumes that Cold War never ended, the Soviet Union never dissolved, and yeah, the standoff continued up to 2020. With military spending still being on a high, a lot of prototype units were put into service. Um, so this mod is modifying a lot of OOBs, uh, order of battles from major but also minor nations. And you can expect to see a lot of concept art or concept stage, weapons, equipment, prototypes, which never made it into the production, which were cancelled. While still alongside historical authentic equipment. Yeah, in order to download the mod, you, um, conveniently this page is offering you the download, it is still working. And there's also a discussion thread where users furthermore improved the existing mod by modifying the order of battles and releasing them as some sort of add-on to the main mod. That is optional, but you can also download that. Uh, that is the main mod here, version 0 0.8. And here that is basically third party by another user, which continue to work on that. Yeah, now one thing you need to keep in mind, this was designed for WinSP MBT version 5. Uh, currently we are already at version 16. That is not a real problem because if you acquire the game you will receive a launcher and you usually have to install those three patches here in order to get to the newest version. And as far as I know, I think the installer is version 5. Yeah. It's not really that important because some users in this thread already mentioned that they also were able to run the mod without problems on higher versions. And yeah, I for example create an additional install. Uh, you can create as many installs as you want without screwing up your, 20, uh, your newest version here from 2022. You can simply run again the main installer and install a different folder and call it something like I did here, WinSP 6.0 Cold War 2020. Yeah, that is no problem. You can keep as many insta installation folders from this game as you want. And yeah, however, I installed the 6.0 patch, uh, this consolidation patch, on top of the uh, main of, of the base. And seems to work out fine. Version 10 I didn't test out, the 2016. However, I tested out the newest version. You can still access a lot of content, however, if I get to the battle screen and change the date at a certain point, I think it's the 90s, the game crashes. Mm, I suspect it has something to do that in the recent years WinSP was expanded from 2020 um, end of time frame to 2045 in order to simulate uh, current and near future weapon systems. Perhaps that screws up as a mod. So I could expect that uh, you might try out to install it on version 10b. 
I didn't test it out. If you did that and everything works fine, let me know in the comments. For the showcase, as mentioned, we will use 6. Good. So, install or create a new installation by either running only the, the base or installing, like me, the 6.0 patch. And then, yeah, you should have one or two downloads. That is a mod. And that is this forum third party add on. It's an updated OOBs. And that is rather simple copy paste. Keep that in the separate folder. In case you screw something up, you can quickly create another copy of your installation folder. Yeah, that mod comes also with an extensive README, which I recommend you to check out. There you will also have some what this mod, uh, mod does and also which countries were changed. So for example, uh, in order to circumvent hard coding, Russia, which is now still the Soviet Union, uh, um, but there's, for example, some countries like East Germany, uh, GDR, DDR, which would normally, because the original game sticks to historical values, would be removed, which now assumes another slot, the slot of the Ukraine, for example, um, which is absolutely fine because Ukraine in this mod is still part of the Soviet Union, yeah. Good, so, and in case you want to install this OB files, yeah, copy those here and head to your game data OBs and paste them here. Okay, you're not entirely done, now you run your game options and get to your utilities, manage OOB sets, pick custom OOB, yeah, and then select that folder Cold War 2020. Simply select something, open, it will load all those updated OOBs from this mod folder and then install. Uh, done. And we can launch a game. Yeah, I heard that those classic versions, um, something strange if I exit the game. Yeah, okay, I will now run windowed. Desktop resolution, yeah. So I make now everything a bit small here, and yeah, that is like a combat mission. It's not that really great for checking out those new weapon systems. So yeah, the mod installed. I deleted my original campaign and the scenario folder in order to highlight what the mod is in coming with new content, but you don't need to do that. They usually use slots which shouldn't be occupied. But who knows, I think the main game is already coming with 500 scenarios or something. So yeah, it comes with... 15 new scenarios, some are remasters at different uh, different time frames, which are now using this new equipment from this mod. New tanks, new aircraft. Furthermore, this game comes with a campaign. Um, really like that, perhaps I will play it. It is platoon sized. It is focusing on French forces, foreign legion. And it comes with a nice description. Somebody was able to write more than one sentence without ex without brain exploding. That is already a good sign for a good campaign. Yeah, that here is French forces, but you can still change them. It was specifically designed for this mod. Good. Uh, Mission-wise, campaign-wise, and yeah, in order to showcase you the new equipment, yeah, I can't show you everything. It will take too much time, but we will 
access the battle generator. Here, for example, you now see East Germany at a certain. Uh, they now switch and assume the position of the Ukraine. Uh, what is written here this is not really important because probably this text of those countries is hard coded by the flex or not. So stick to the readme or to the flex in order to check. So you can now play basically the East Germany in 2020 because this mod assumes that nothing changed. No reunification. And yeah, Russia is still the Soviet Union. So yeah, let's check out the new stuff of the usual suspects. Yeah, I might do a zoom in uh, with video stuff. Yeah, could I could do that. So uh, you already see here some new tanks. I think that was also part part of this future tank system. Where they basically used one base and put different weapons on it. It is in, I think in F2, C2 it is simulated, but it was cancelled. Here in this game it is not cancelled. Also I think the US now using the XM5 rifle as the new service rifle. The Germans using the G11 caseless rifle. And a lot of other nations using some crazy prototype. Also the Russians using a new rifle. Not the AK-74 or 47 systems anymore, but something new. Yeah, there's this M11 Block 3 tank, which is some sort of an Abrams replacement with a... The turret looks very small. You could imagine that it is a crewless turret. The entire crew is sitting probably in the main tank, uh, main hull. And it's a, it has a laser personal defense weapon, whatever that is. I don't know if that is a call sign for this weapon or if that is indeed a laser. Yeah, and many of those tanks, Soviet and other Western nations now have APS, everything. I mean, they also have that, of course, in a normal game, but here it is basically simulating that this technology was pushed faster, uh, quicker into service but uh, the standoff still continues. Yeah, infantry is also yeah, using new rifles, riding new IFVs. Yeah, a lot of new aircraft put in the service. Uh, Comanches. F-24 Lightnings. Yeah, there's a ton of vehicles uh, showing you everything here. We could spend hours. Check out the Soviet Union in 2020. They are using a lot of new stuff, especially when it comes to aircraft. Yeah, they now have T04s or T04s, T10s. So T90 versions, T90U might be also something new. T10. There was that one tank, tank which I was looking for, T95. It's somewhere here. Ah, right, yeah, T95. B, A1. It looks quite crazy. Yeah. Let's read a picture of a T95B. <laughs> they look entirely different. K 
Chemical Platoon. Ja, New BMPs. DBMP. That is some sort of new IFV here in this mod. Wodnik, but I have, think that was already part. BTRT, I already saw that. Yeah, it seems like he selected a mission where um, aircraft are excluded. I need to check it out again to show you the aircraft. Yeah, no. EL-41 Flintlock Su-54 Yeah, that here is a bio route or what was it? Falspath Su-54 Yak-43 MiG-39 Flatpack yeah, a lot of new aircraft. Yeah, East Germany 2020. Nostalgie. Uh, they received a lot of new stuff. I'm not sure if that is re that ever was a thing. Uh, like Alligator ET 2005, I think that looks quite western, um, but who knows? Perhaps I don't know that East Germany did some domestic designs, but that doesn't look so it in any that looks very western, so this is only some picture to something close because I was perhaps I never left the drawing board and the mod creators used something a different picture Tom Falke that is certainly a new aircraft. Schwalbe. Uh, GDR developing their own Air Force or their own aircraft. I mean, the mod, the mod explain, uh, the mod readme explains that. The Soviet Union is existing, but in a different state. Yeah, not this iron cotton anymore, but more open. So it could be that some of the yeah, allies start to import new technology or designs from other sources. So they're sticking to the Soviet design philosophy. Yeah, one interesting entry is also Germany. This was a lot of new stuff. Zobel. Hunter, Raketenjagdpanzer. And they now have not a Leopard, but a Löwe. Uh, no picture. We never left the drawing board. They're now using Löwe. Uh, which is 90mm EMA gun. Hmm. 
And what happened? <laughs> Germany. There we again uh, generate a mission assault aircraft. Now to see what they have a new new Again. Yep. Okay. Well, the fact that it's still here, Typhoon now called. But then now I have a Marco, yeah, that looks concept. Looks like some sort of Delta system here, something like a F-16. Ah yeah, and now the Germans use a Marder 2, yeah, there was no Marder 2, only Marder 1. But still, stuff like Puma is still available. But that looks rather like a, something like a Bradley. I mean the Marder 1 was already something similar of course, but that looks somewhat heavier, bigger. Yeah, and there's a lot of more stuff. Uh, again, check out the README, what nations were changed. There's a lot of new units. But there's a good showcase for that. You can use this remake of this classic scenario here, facing the Angry Beer 2020. Yeah, that's basically... Here, Vladimir invading Western Europe. Yeah. And then one pass you will play that campaign there. Because I really like that it's platoon sized. Uh, aircraft getting engaged here by Sam's on Lightnings. F24 Lightnings. Attempting to provide close air support. Uh, they did they really were put into that position? I think they were air security fighters only, that is also why they were phased out. Because they rather in a modern non-Cold War setup, they rather looked for multi-role fighters. It's interesting to see them here in a to ground um, roll. I mean, probably similar to the Tomcat, they might be able to carry some air to ground stuff. It would be rather dangerous for them. Yeah? The Soviets use quite lethal close range SAMs. Another lightning incoming. Yeah, and here we have those new tanks, those block 3 tanks. Oh, you see them. New sprite art. Oh, uh, one of those lightnings crashed somewhere on the battlefield. This, I won't play the entire thing, I only want to show you how this. But again, this mod is not only, despite the name, focusing on 2020, I think you can also, as you see, the mod is also offering you a 2005 experience where you know, might have not some of this crazy stuff like um, AP Active Protection System against missiles, ECM, or. What was it? Are they firing anti radiation missiles against those SAMs? Uh, but all three missed. Probably switched off the radar, which is assimilated in Steel Panthers. They might switch off the radar. A radar was knocked out. T95 was destroyed. By Schrapner, how did that happen? Radar knocked out.
Yeah, they're firing air to ground missiles. Something like Mavericks. Monghorn. Yeah, and again, you don't need to play the game in a uh, window that is just me now doing that. In the future, maybe we will play in full screen. Close in, uh, APS defeated that missile. Okay, let's get first infantry out of the open. Sitting in good positions here. Ambush positions, okay. Oh, those guys carrying heavy infantry ADGM. CKEM. Looks like uh, those Soviet missiles, those early ADGMs. Yeah, infantry is now carrying the ICW, ICW, uh, which was cancelled. This next generation future soldier stuff. And Predator 80 gems. And yeah, um, I mentioned that here. Um, that is a feature I was talking about in the Steel Panthers 2 review video. Here you can switch on off weapons in order to preserve ammo. Or stop them from engaging. I mean, you can also set engagement distances, but here you can quickly, for example, if you don't want to fire your ADGM, switch them off. Yeah. It's really a really nice feature. Good to see if there's anything visual. Uh, probably in smoke and spotted by those raptors, not by us. A T-12, that's a new prototype tank here on the battlefield. Yeah, that Greenhorn also looks like, definitely, looks like something from Command Conquer. Yeah, let's play another turn. But then, we should have an idea of that mod. We have no visual on ground units, that is the aircraft. Yeah. 35 mic mic firing on that. So it armored vehicle. Here. Yeah. gem launch. Impact. BMT, B, BMPT destroyed. Ah, so it's already the south here. Oh, ambush. The south. Okay, there's some. Oh, we are in contact here. Or like we don't have visual here. Ah, because it is elevated. And then let's ambush it, guy. Elevation. Ah, there's a huge elevation change here. 
What is that here? T12. Might be not alone. We are using the block free tank. Now we. Okay, they spotted us first. And took us out. Okay. Oh, that M12 is carrying this AD gem here. That's our AD gem team spotted this Tony now. Only that guy. Engage. Iram defeated the incoming rounds. Right. No penetration. Retreat. So, so vision. Ah, no vision. Found an infantry, what is it? Or he killed a tank. Let's do that, perhaps those guys have 80 GMs. Okay, I'll pull him back. Peace. Yeah, let, let him come closer. Advanced Era defeats round. Uh, Era is here quite effective for the so new Soviet designs. Defensive smoke. AD German coming. Tank moving into ambush. Uh, was taken out another one. Nice, that was a hit. But Era defeated. Okay, dismounting.
AT. Not a less than 25. Not AT. Impact. APS defeated. Another APS interception. Another tank drives in an ambush. Two. And again, Era defeated incoming AT. So they are piling up here. Maybe somebody got immobilized. Top attack ABGM impact destroyed T95 ABGM impact didn't penetrate. Okay. Missile defeat by APS. What? Again? Era in the. Era, what? They're using here some pretty well defended tanks. But now he's immobilized. That team 12. But interesting, in this mod, some units seem to be quite resistant from 80 GMs. I mean, that guy fired 140 millimeters, what is it? Didn't penetrate. <laughs> You're kidding me. APS interception. Missed. <laughs> Jimmy, are you kidding me? What is going on here? It took me on out of the way. It's 26, 26, 26 oh, this guy. You're only using 85mm, but there's something you know, super special. Yeah, time is over of those T-72s blowing up here in a row. And those new systems here seem to be not bad here. Okay. So this tank, he's also visual right now. Not yet. But he's preparing an ambush on that T12 here, which doesn't want to, to die. But is killing everything. Yeah, 
here this Predator team will continue to ambush this tank platoon here. Again, Warhead defeated by ERA. That is a IFV. I mean, he's carrying those tough missiles. Tough B. Some of missiles are quite often intercepted or even don't penetrate. That is rather crazy. You consider that 80 gems in the main game, but also in reality, are rather brutal lethal. Tank is out of ah, there's a crew. Don't engage the crew. Let those guys come into the ambush zone. But here we have a situation. Uh, the scout team is carrying a predator by on that on the IFV. What is that here? This EBM system. It's like some sort of uh, upgrade BMP. Try again. Def <laughs> Era defeated the heat and warhead. Unbelievable. Yeah, Ira again defeated that warhead, but we managed to immobilize him. I might need to pull back here. I want to kill that vehicle. But they're already bypassing us here with MBTs. What is going on with this advanced era? What are the Soviets using here? Eh? For super armor. Oh, okay, uh, tanks now on us. Yeah, this position here is not like, good. We might need to set are there MBTs here waiting. Yeah, we might not move them. So if they considered moving, yeah, they might, I don't know, hold a CKEM anti tank. If it requires the tank to stand still to fire, like toes. Six 
700 meters effective range. What do I want to find that guy? I'll run away. It. Okay. Show me what that Siki Sika EM can do. Yeah, spoiler us before we launch the ATGM. Yes. That's how you do it. They located us. Face to defeat missile. Uh, what we missed. Defeats me, sir. Crazy. So more I have a feeling that the US is not profiting from those prototype weapons, while the Russians are becoming quite hardcore, yeah. I mean, on the other hand, they have a ton of MBTs here, they already took quite some casualties. Use your ADGM. <laughs> Defeated the missile. APS is also quite effective here. Yeah. Flying at 1500 meters. Failed to defeat missile. Come on, give me an impact. Missed. So having those, we have four. Okay, continue. I wasn't able to fire eighty GM.
Yeah, because uh, probably it needs first to load in. Wait to watch all this movement here. Uh, if we go up here, I might get spotted. Okay, I managed to gain a fighting position. And that guy is not carrying 80 gems. Carrying this laser PDW. Which is not real laser, I think, you know. What it They're carrying anti aircraft systems. I pull them back. This is anti aircraft. It seems. Carries a similar designation like the Stinger. Sam, yeah. This is, those two are Sam IFVs. Nice, so it's finally starting to take casualties here. The era is veering off. One player trading hit by grenade launcher. For data missed. Seems like the era like is finally over. Yep. Again, era defeated uh, Predator yeah. Warhead.
ABS phase impact. Those Soviet new MBTs are really hard to crack. Top attack ADGM. Impact. Destroyed. Uh, APS interception successful. Close combat here. P95B destroyed.
Okay, yeah, that was here a uh, showcase of the. I don't want to make the video too long. We will do a dedicated gameplay the video then. But you should now have a good idea. Bro, it's quite a different experience with this new equi equipment, the new TOE and OOBs. Yeah, and see you in the next video. Good hunting.